The men's grooming sector was the most dynamic sector in the beauty and personal care industry in China in 2009, in spite of the global recession. Uh, the sector saw overall value growth of 27% in 2009 to reach an RMB of nearly 4,000 million, dropped by two booming sectors, namely the men's skincare and the hair care sector. There are a number of reasons behind such dynamic growth. Firstly, male Chinese consumers became more confident and comfortable in purchasing their own men's grooming products, whereas they, they tend to, in the past, intend to feel embarrassed when making such a purchase. And uh, the men's grooming products, such as skincare, were usually purchased by their wives or girlfriends. And secondly, the intensive promotional campaigns and uh, advertisement launched by international companies such as Unilever, PNG, L'Oreal have further facilitated this shift in consumer purchasing behaviors, thereby driving the overall market growth. Thirdly, the continuous new product development and product innovation have also boosted the overall market growth. Uh, for instance, the men's skincare sector have witnessed a continuous evolution from the simple cleansing, moisturizing products to the more sophisticated product lines such as anti-aging, exfoliating, and energy boosting. Uh, a newly launched men's skincare product by Shanghai Java United under its GF brand has used the desert plants as its uh, active ingredients. The company claims by using this kind of natural ingredients it will provide uh, men's skin with uh, resistance and adaptability to the extremely tough environments. In addition to the formula innovation, the concept innovation is also a key to drive overall market growth. Uh, for instance, the newly launched Head & Shoulder for Men has used the uh, active uh, advertising campaign uh, such as men should focus on their career success while letting head and shoulder for men take a hair of your hair. Uh, due to its effective positioning, uh, this newly launched product has uh, witnessed a rapid growth since its initial launch, ranking the second place uh, within the men's hair care sector. As for the future market development, the men's grooming sector is expected to continue its strong performance with a constant uh, value Kega growth of 20% percent over the forecast period. One reason is that compared to the female grooming market, the men's grooming market is still hugely undeveloped despite of its rapid growth over the recent two years. Uh, the total size of the men's grooming sector is still accounted for a small percentage of the overall beauty and personal care market, thus leaving a great future growing potential. Additionally, uh, both international and domestic companies have realized the importance of this grooming sector and has already put the men's grooming sector as within their strategic focus, increasing new product launches and promotions in categories such as the men's skincare and the hair care sector. Another trend that can be foreseen in the near future is that the mass men's grooming products are likely to gain growth over its premium counterparts. As the acceptance of the male grooming habits in China grew stronger and stronger, uh, more and more Chinese male consumers will start to use their own beauty and personal care products over the forecast period. Uh, thus, the affordable and widely distributed products such as Nivea for Men are likely to witness a considerable growth uh, in the near future.